JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. So how do you know what amount you got for the third stimulus check? So these would have come out in 2021, in April of 21 would have been the earliest point, potentially through the end of the year. The maximum per person was $1,400, but if you know you got it and you can't find the amount, well, first thing I tell clients is go back to your bank statement and see if you can find a payment from U.S. Treasury that says EIP-3, Economic Impact Payment. Now, the IRS did send out letters related to this, and you would have gotten the letter 6475 that indicates the amount. But if you don't know the amount, you can't find it, closed your bank account, you didn't get the letter, well, then you can log into the IRS website. You do have to set up an online account. So I'm going to give you a link where you can sign up to get an online account. It takes a, maybe 15 minutes or less because they want to verify your identity. So you're going to go through a number of steps. You'll want to typically have your cell phone ready, an email, a credit card number, or a mortgage account so they can ding and double check with your credit that you are who you are. It's not a ding against you. But nonetheless, you'll want to have your recent tax returns that you've already filed handy, such as your 2020, if that's the most recent one you have filed, because there'll be questions off of that. You want to answer everything carefully. But if you set up an online account, there you will find what it is that you receive for the third economic impact payment. It's important that you put this on your tax return, because if you didn't get all of it, well, then you can get the rest of it. You don't have to pay it back, meaning if you got $1,400 and the IRS sent it to you um, and that amount was then based on your income for 2020, but then for 2021, you wouldn't have otherwise qualified for it. You don't have to pay this back on the economic impact payment on the third one. Now, I've got a video that talked about this a little bit more in length, as well as the advanced child tax credit and where you can get that amount in that portal, irs.gov but I'll give you links to those videos as well. So get that information on your 2020 return. Make sure you got all that you could. You may have questions on this in terms of, well, last year I claimed a dependent, they sent me the money on it. What if they're not a dependent now? Well, you're not gonna have to pay it back. And that dependent, if they can claim themselves, they may be able to still go ahead and get it, assuming they qualify. But all the questions you have related to this, the IRS has answers, most likely. And that's why I'm going to give you a link to their FAQs related to this. That's your best source of information. They have a beautiful way of lining out. Here's the question and here are the answers. And most that I've come across, I actually just go right to the IRS and there's the answer I find in just minutes. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me. Have a great one.